So we are headed over, welcome back to another video. We're headed over to pick up custom house plans uh, for my house we're building. And um, while we're driving, I wanted to be as efficient with my time as possible and talk to you guys about how to start a window cleaning business. So the year that I sold my window cleaning business, we had built it up to just shy of a half a million dollars in sales in that business the year I sold it. But how do you get it to that point? If you're just starting and you want to start your winning cleaning business, this video is for you. I want to show you the best things to do to be successful and get that business going to where you're immediately making profits. So the first thing that you want to focus on is focusing on getting paid clients. That is the most important part. That's more important than having your equipment. That's more important than having um, anything that you need to be able to do the work itself. That's more important than having a brand. That's more important than business cards. That's more important than an LLC. That's more important than having insurance. Your number one focus from the very beginning needs to be bringing money into your business so then you can do the other things as well. So many people, when I'm coaching them how to start an investment business or any kind of business whatsoever, they're so worried about creating a brand and an, and an LLC and all those things only come because you are making money, okay? So I wanna tell you guys the best way to get started is doing door to door sales to get your first clients. I remember when I first started washing windows, I remember being absolutely uh, you know, terrified because I was out of money. I, I, uh, I had bought my truck cash when I was 17 and you know, my parents, wonderful, awesome people, taught me to work hard, but they also let me take care of myself financially at that point in my life. And so I had an insurance payment due, I had my cell phone payment due, um, and like they wouldn't even co-sign for my cell phone. It was completely on me. I was trying to build my credit. I was going through Cricket because it was the only carrier that allowed you to get a phone without a line of credit or without a credit history. And since I was 17, I didn't really even have a credit history. Um, also, I, I needed to put gas in my truck and I had spent everything I had on my truck and some window e cleaning equipment. The window cleaning equipment that I had purchased was a ladder, a, a six foot step ladder, a 24 step extension ladder, and I had purchased a squeegee and a scrubber. And they were building a house close to my parents' house and I went and found an old paint bucket and cleaned it out and that was my bucket that I was using for window washing. I literally had no idea how to wash windows back then. There wasn't as many videos on how to clean windows on YouTube. That wasn't, you know, YouTube was mostly just prank and funny videos. And um, so I wanted to learn how to wash windows. So I went and washed my parents' windows and practiced using the squeegee. And I considered myself at that point a professional window cleaner and I was gonna go start charging money. So what I did is I walked straight from my parents' house to go door to door sales to get window cleaning clients because I literally did not have gas. So walking from my parents' house was the most economic thing that I could do at that time. So I suggest if you're just starting out, I want you to go do door to door sales. Keep the pitch very simple. They do not care who you are. They do not care what business you're from. They wanna know why you're bothering them and why you're on the front porch. So get straight to the point. Say, hi, I am out doing bids for window cleaning. Do you want a bid for window cleaning? You're gonna get three responses. You're gonna get an immediate no, get off my porch. Go ahead and say, okay, thank you, have a nice day and go to the next house as fast as possible. The second response is they're gonna hesitate. They're gonna go, huh? And the hesitation is they're thinking in their heads, do I wanna wash, have my windows cleaned? Does this person need to come inside my house to do a bid? I'm a little uncomfortable with that, right? They're thinking about what it means to have a bid done on their house. So what I suggest is when they start to hesitate, you immediately interrupt their, their thought process and say it would be super fast literally two, three minutes, all I do is walk around the outside of the house and I can get you a price. And they say, oh, that's super easy. Okay, 
like great I'll knock on the door in a few moments do your bid if you do that I promise you more than half the time you will get the bid if you do not interrupt there you can test this if you do not interrupt their thought process they're gonna tell you no at least 80% of the time I had those numbers down exactly because I did so many door-to-door -door sales I built that company up to a half a million dollars a year by over 80% of our deals coming from door-to-door -door sales that I did so um, the third answer you're gonna get is yes I would love a bid go ahead and do the bid so go out go get your first client let me know in the show notes that this helped you I want to know that you you implemented this you went out and got a bid got your first window cleaning clients um, I want to hear about your success I remember the first bid that I did it was 30 bucks I was so excited to make 30 bucks it took me a couple hours I was able to put gas in my truck and then I remember a couple days later I did a bid for a hundred dollars and got the job and I was I was blown away that I could pay all of my bills and have a little bit left over and I was doing it in my own time my own schedule um, and starting my very first business so if you guys want more ways to grow your window cleaning clients ways to get quarterly contracts and get residual work not just one-time cleanings there's lots of things that I can teach you about growing your your window cleaning business so if you're interested comment in the show notes some of the things you want to learn more about starting your window cleaning business and I would love to help you don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe share this with someone that might be benefit that might benefit if you have a you know a family member a young guy that's that's interested in starting a business a window cleaning business is a great thing to start and then one more thing before I go um, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I just did. I went out and started a mobile pawn shop company and filmed it and showed people how easy it is to make money. In an hour and 45 minutes, I generated five, around $500 and I'm giving that away. So you guys can actually enter to win that 500 bucks. So if you guys want to learn more how to win that 500 bucks and then also see that content of how I was able to go make 500 bucks and the, the, the videos, we'll leave a link in the show notes for those YouTube videos and then also the information to win that, that 500 bucks. So hopefully this helps. We'll talk to you guys in the next video.